Jam, jam. Wow, you are doing good. Wow, through your hands. Your hands. Ah, 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 you lost it. Your legs. Your legs. I grew up around the river body and learned how to swim through the help of my siblings. When I became a man, I made it a point to teach my family how to swim. I started early, early when Essie was just a girlfriend. I would take her to the pool and teach her a thing or two about swimming. She was getting better. She was winning swimming competitions with her friends and she could kick and float. We got married. Two babies later, we went to the pool and she had forgotten everything. Nana's first experience with the pool was in 2018. He was two years old. He loved it. He didn't want to come out that day. I got him floaters so he could express himself freely in the pool. And since then, he had been using the arm floaters whenever we go to the pool. But floaters are deceptive. Kids believe they are good swimmers when using floaters. So the danger here is that one day they may jump into the pool thinking they can swim. Nana has tried that several times so it was time for us to get rid of the floaters and teach him how to swim properly. I engaged a friend who is also a swim coach at Swim Tech Ghana to teach my family how to swim. It's become very necessary for us as a family to know how to swim, each one of us, because we travel to places where we see various types of water bodies. He started taking AC through the basics of swimming, starting from being comfortable with the water. She walked through the water, jumped through the water, and ran through it. Papa saw his mother in the pool and decided to jump in. No amount of restraint will do. I put the next lotus on his arms and threw him into the pool. You should see the joy on his face. It didn't look like his first time. No fear, no looking back, just floating and playing. Teach them young, they say. So that is the beginning of a swimming journey.
Though it was her first lesson, the movement was good. She was taking her breath controls seriously, and Nana was there to give her a helping hand. What are stands for, if not for moments like this? I was impressed with her movement. It's either she's a good student or she has a good teacher. After two hours of intensive coaching, it all came to an end. Our dream as a family is to go snorkeling somewhere in the deep. This is the first step. If everything goes well, you'll be watching our snorkeling video very soon.